hi and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this beautiful stylish corporate dress it is a very very simple tutorial and i'm going to show you how to do it from start to finish so if you are new to my channel you're welcome kindly click the subscribe button and click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and now let's dive right into the tutorial so right here i have my fabric folded into two i'll be working with this gingham fabric and what we are going to do first is to draw our shoulder line with which i have done already okay so i've drawn my shoulder line so go ahead and do yours make sure to fold your fabric into two now from my shoulder to the next line is my armhole divided by two and what i have there is nine and a half inches and then i have armhole to bust point which is 11 inches and then my waist or half length which is 17 inches so this is what i'm going to be working with for mine now that we have our fabric folded into two like i explained earlier we are going to go ahead and mark our shoulder divided by two mine is 16 16 divided by two is eight inches i'm going to come right down to the next line mark that same eight inches and then i'll draw a straight line across now on this straight line that we are going to draw we are going to be you know drafting our armhole around there so the next thing I'm going to do is to come to my bust area, mark my bust divided by 4. My bust is 38, 38 divided by 4, 9 and half. I'll be adding half an inch for seam allowance. And then I'm going to come right to this armhole line. I'm going to be marking my shoulder slant or shoulder slope of 1 inch. Now, after marking that 1 inch, I'm going to measure what I have left. And I have 8 and half divided by 2, that is 4.25. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. Look at my assistants assisting me. And where I mark that 4.25 inches, I'm just going to come in by half an inch. So we are drafting the front bodies first. Now that we are done with that, all we need to do is to cover out the armhole, which is very, very simple. From where I marked my bust circumference to that half inch inwards up to the one inch for shoulder slope i'll just go ahead and curve that out pardon me if you cannot see my chalk markings so now that we are done with this i'm just going to come to my waist area okay so i just want to curve that out a bit come to my waist area i'm going to mark my waist circumference divided by four my waist circumference is 33 33 divided by four is 8.25 so i'll go ahead and mark 8.25 i'll be adding that allowance of one inch so i'll go ahead and mark that and after marking my that allowance of one inch i'll be adding half an inch for seam allowance now i'm not going to be lining my bodies but if you want to go ahead and do yours make sure to add more allowances so that by the time you line you still have extra allowance to join your fabric pieces together so now that I'm done with this, I'm just going to go ahead and join my waist to my bust that I've already marked out. Remember, now I have seam allowance at my side seam. So that is important to note. So I'm going to come to my neckline now. And what I'll be doing is marking my neck width and neck depth. I'll be going with a neck width of 3 inches. Now this is because I want my neckline to be high up neck depth will be four inches and once i do that i'll go ahead and curve this out i'm using freehand but by all means go ahead and use a french curve to curve out your neckline now after curving my neckline i'm going to connect the neck width area to the one inch shoulder slant or to the one inch that we marked in order to create our shoulder slope now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and cut my fabric with a half an inch seam allowance. I'm cutting my neckline with a half an inch. I'll cut my shoulder slope with a half an inch. Repeat the same thing for my armhole. Cut it with a half an inch seam allowance. Now, the only part of my bodies that I'm not going to cut with a half an inch is going to be the side seam because I have added the seam allowance previously so i'll just go ahead and do my cutting now cut the armhole 
go on to cut the side seam following the marking that is on the bodies. That is very, very important. So if I had not added my seam allowance earlier, I would have to add it right here while I'm cutting. And once I do the side seam, I come to the half length or waist area, go on to add a half an inch seam allowance because we are going to be joining this to the skirt part in order to form our dress. And once we are done with this cutting, we are going to go ahead and move to the back. So in order for us to draft the back pattern, I placed the center front on this piece of fabric. It is actually two pieces of fabric, one for the right side of the back and one for the left. So it is one inch from the edge of the fabric. So this is going to form a zipper allowance. Now, all I need to do is to cut the fabric <coughs> All I need to do is to cut the back pattern out using my front as a guide. Now I'm going to cut the bottom the same way, cut the side seam the same way. I'm not going to adjust the neckline because I want the front and the back to be the same. But if you want yours to be different, go ahead and do a different design for your neckline. I'm going to cut the shoulder slope. Now the only difference between the front and the back is going to be the armhole. So what I'm actually going to do is to cut from the top right here where the shoulder slants meets the armhole i'll just go ahead and cut straight down then into the curve of the armhole so i just come right here okay the fact that the kind of fabric i'm working with has you know straight lines will make this easy for me so i just begin to cut straight like that okay so that half an inch that we cut out from the front, we're not going to do that to the back. So that is what this is. And I just go into the curve of the armhole using my front pattern as a guide. Okay, so just like this, very, very simple. And then after this, I'll go on to, you know, cut the remaining parts using the front as a guide. And come show you guys what we're going to do next. So after cutting out our front and back pattern, this is what we have now there is just one thing we haven't done which is you draft out the dart now that is very very simple you don't need too much calculation all you need is your bust span or your nipple to nipple measurement so mine is eight eight divided by two that is four inches so you can see right here is my center front i'm going to be placing my tape rule the beginning of my tape rule at that center front and i'm going to mark that four inches and mark half an inch on both sides of the four inches. The next thing I'm going to do is to come to my bust point line. I'm going to mark that same four inches from the center front. So just like this, mark the four inches. I'm going to draw a straight line connecting the four inches at the top and the four inch at the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and connect the half an inch on both sides to the four inch at the top just like that so that is how we create our darts now you can go ahead and pass pins through the markings of the darts that you have on your fabric so place pins at the dart point one middle and this end and at this part right here pass it through your fabric and then mark those points on your fabric and trace out your dance. That is one way to do it. If you don't want to do it that way, you can go ahead and draft out the dart on your fabric the same way we did for this part. Draft it out on the other side of your fabric. Repeat the same thing for the back bodice fabric, but you need to take note that you have a one inch zipper allowance right at the center back. Now, after drafting out the darts, we're going to go ahead and shaping the back and like you've seen in the previous videos if you have watched them all i need to do is to come right here at the zipper allowance area i mark half an inch okay connect that half inch to the top of the neckline and we're going to draw a straight line like this and i'm going to go ahead and trim this out so basically that is how i shapen my back or the back of um, dresses that I make that require joining. Same principle applies to one piece dresses too. Okay. So after cutting this out, all I need to do, do my dart transfer, go ahead and sew my darts up 
So after sewing our darts, the next thing that we are going to do is to place the pieces on top of each other with right sides touching. We are going to go on to sew the shoulder seams by a half an inch seam allowance. Sew the side seam by a half an inch seam allowance. So now that we have our bodies all sewn up, I'm going to keep this aside and we are going to work on the skirt part. So for this skirt pattern, we are going to be drafting the front and the back at the same time. So first things first, I've marked my waistline right here and I've marked my waist to hip, which for me is 8 inches. And then I've marked my waist to my knee, which is basically to the end of the fabric. So my waist to knee is 26 inches. I have a half an inch seam allowance at the bottom. So what I'm going to do right now is to mark the waist measurement. My waist measurement is 33. 33 divided by 4 is 8.25 inches. So I'm going to come right here and mark 8.25 inches. I'm not adding that to this pattern, okay? What I'm going to be adding is um, seam allowance, zipper allowance, you know, of 1 inch. So I'm going to mark 1 inch, okay? And then I'm going to add half an inch. So that is basically adding one and a half to all my measurements. So I'm going to come right at my hip. My hip is 43. 43 divided by 4 is 10.75. So I'm going to mark 10.75. And then I'm going to add one and a half just like we did for the waist area here. I'm going to add one and a half. Now we're going to measure the total of what we have here. And this should be measuring um 12.25 inches. So basically, what I'm going to do is remove 1.5 from that. So because what we have here is 1.5, I'm now going to go with 10.75 that we marked here as my entire knee measurement. Okay, so I'm going to come right here, mark 10.75 inches. So now that we are done marking, all I'm going to do right now is to connect my knee to my hip, connect my hip to my waist. So after doing the joining, we are going to shape our hip area out. And I like to shape this really well, such that by the time I sew, I don't have to take in any sharp corner around my hip area. So this is basically how I do it, nice and simple. And then I'm going to be cutting this out with a half an inch at the waist area and cut out this side seam area. So after cutting, this is what we have. I'm going to now cut the back pattern into two so that we have two separate pieces for the back. And then for the design that is going to be in front, I'm going to explain to us what we are going to do. So we cut out the front pattern and the back to be exactly the same. Now, because of this design that is going to be in front, we are going to need to slash the front pattern into two. So right here is my waist area. What I'm going to do right now is to determine where I want my um, the design of the skirt part to be. Okay, you decide whether you want it to go from left to right or from right to left. So you can put it on any side of your body. Remember that I have half an inch seam allowance on my pattern at the top here. So I'm just going to come right here and mark two and a half inches. Okay. I'll come right at the bottom. We equally have half an inch seam allowance. Now this is the other end. We equally have half an inch seam allowance. So I'll mark that half an inch seam allowance here. And then I'm going to come right here and mark, let's say, around one inch okay so I mark, so I mark one inch and then what I'm going to do is to connect that one inch at the bottom here to the two inches that we marked here with a straight line and after joining I'm going to slash my skirt into two So after slashing, this is what I have. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the fabric piece that is going to be 
inserted into the slash that we had here. So this is the fabric piece that I'm going to be working with. First off, we're going to cut this and then go ahead and interface the fabric with um, SD or um, paper stay, whichever one you have. But right now, what I want to do is determine the type of design that I'm going to be inserting into this skirt piece. This fabric length is way longer than the slash on my skirt because I want it to you know, protrude out of the skirt. So I'll be marking four and a half inches here. And then the width of the fabric is around 11 inches. Okay, so that is what we are going to work with at the bottom. Now, I'm not going to be sewing the skirt design all the way to the bottom of the skirt. So what I'm going to do right now is to determine where I'm going to, you know, sew it up to. I'm going to come to the bottom of my skirt now. I'm going to mark around 4 inch from the bottom of the skirt. And that is where the skirt design will end by the time we sew it. I'm going to get this piece of fabric now. I'm going to place it sort of like half an inch below the waist area of my fabric. And then I'm going to check to see where it ends, where it matches the four inch mark on the black piece of fabric. So I hope you can see the four inch mark right here. So I just place it like that. And then I mark that four inch on this fabric. And then I'm going to draw a straight line across. So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a diagonal line to the end of my fabric. So what I'm going to do is from this mark right here where I want the stitching to stop on my skirt, I drew a diagonal line to the end of my fabric. So let me just go ahead and trace that out for you. Now the width of the fabric around this point is around um, 10 and a half inches or yeah, for 10, yes, 10 and a half inches. So that is, you know, fine. What we are going to do next is to join the end here, this point here, where we drew the diagonal line to. We are going to need to connect that to the four and a half inch that we marked at the top of our fabric here. So just go ahead and join it. And then all we need to do after joining is to cut the fabric out. Okay. So after cutting our design, this is what we have. All we need to do is to interface it. After ironing on our este, this is what we have. This is what it looks like at the bottom. So what I'm going to do next is to actually slash this fabric piece into two. We place this with right side touching. We're going to sew this diagonal part down. Okay, sew this part by a half an inch or quarter inch, sew this part. So after sewing our fabric up, this is what we have. What I'm going to do is to come right at this pointed edge. I'm just going to trim off the excess fabric so that by the time we are done sewing, we can poke the fabric out nice and neat. And then I'm going to turn this piece right sides out. And we are going to give this a very, very good press. Okay, so poke out the ends, give it a good press, and we're ready to sew this onto the skirt part of our dress. After ironing, this is what we have. I actually cut a piece of this because I felt it was too elongated. So I trimmed it off, we sewed and turned it right sides out and pressed this down. So what I want to do right now is to go ahead and sew this onto my skirt fabric. Now here is the top of the skirt. So I'm just going to place this piece this way. I'll use this one to cover it up. Now, I'm going to be sewing this by a quarter inch. If you remember, when drafting the front and the back pattern of the skirt, I cut it with an extra one inch. So my front has an extra one inch on fold. Now I can't sew this by one inch because it is going to affect the way the outlook of the skirt at both the top and the bottom one of the fabric pieces is going to be shorter uh, on one side and longer on one side. So because I don't want that, I'm going to be making the seam allowance for this joining part as small as possible. So I'll be sewing by a quarter inch. So after sewing this piece on it, this is what we have. Okay, so this is the direction the fabric is going to be facing. 
Now, all I need to do is to just um, cut the fabric, the excess fabric around here so that it matches with the top right here. I repeat the same thing for the bottom. So I'm just going to um, align the fabric pieces. So what I need to do right now is to now take off the excess at the side seam. So I'm just going to place this um, fabric piece on top of each other like this. Since we gave this a one inch seam allowance and we just took out a quarter of an inch. So with my fabric on fold like this, I'm going to take out three quarter inches from the side seam so that at the end of the day, we'll have a correct uh, measurements on our pattern plus seam allowance. So guys, after cutting out the excess fabric at the side seam, I did a little bit of top stitching right here so that our design fabric stays put, okay? Even while you stretch it, it doesn't sort of like squeeze too much. What I'm going to do right now is to place the back piece with right sides touching and I'm going to go on to sew the side seam of my back piece with a half an inch seam allowance on both sides. So after sewing on the skirt pieces together, both front and back, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the center back of our dress. So there's a way I like to do it. All I need to do is to come to the waist area of the skirt. I'm going to go on to mark a half an inch right there. Then I'll measure from my waist to hip. So this has a half an inch seam allowance. So my waist to hip is going to now become eight and a half inches because of the seam allowance at the top. What I'm going to do is to draw a straight line from that half inch to this waist to hip. And we are going to go ahead and trim that out. This helps me to reduce zip bulge at the back of my dress. So I do this for most of my dresses, one piece dresses, two piece dresses, or skirt and blouse dresses. So after trimming that off, I'm going to place my bodies on top of my skirts. And what I'm going to do is to go ahead and stitch this up with right sides touching. And I'm going to make sure that the seam allowances are aligned. And then I'll go on to sew this up by a half an inch seam allowance, joining bodies and skirt piece together. So the next thing that we're going to do is work on our sleeve. Now I have my sleeve pattern drafted already. I have two tutorials on how to you know, create your own sleeve pattern. If you already have an existing sleeve pattern, that is definitely fine. You can go ahead and use that, but you actually need to make sure that the armhole is going to fit into the sleeve head. Very, very important before you go ahead and cut it out on fabric now i'm going to be drafting a long sleeve for this dress and it is going to have the checkered part on this top side and the black fabric on this part sort of like make it have a cuff look so what i did was mark two and a half inches from the bottom of the sleeve as you can see i have a half an inch seam allowance here so from this line I marked two and a half inches and drew a straight line across. This part is going to be cut with a black fabric. So my sleeve pattern has a half an inch seam allowance all around, just so that you guys know. And right now I'm going to cut off the part that is going to be for the sleeve, um, for the cuff fabric. So now that I've cut it out, I'm going to make sure to add a 0 0.5 inch seam allowance at the bottom of this long part. And this part would not need a seam allowance because it has a half an inch seam allowance at the bottom. And I'm going to actually, you know, cut this on fold at the bottom. So we're sort of like going to double the fabric. So I'll just go ahead and cut my sleeve and the black piece of fabric for this part. After cutting the sleeve and the cuff part of the fabric this is what i have so what i'm going to do is to open our sleeve up we are going to be joining this checkered part and the black piece of fabric so i'm going to place it right side touching like this and i'm going to go on to sew it together by a half an inch seam allowance and then after sewing i'll go ahead and you know 
fold the sleeve we are going to be sewing the seam area that's this part by a half an inch seam allowance right after joining the black piece of fabric after sewing my sleeve this is what it looks like the next thing that we are going to do is to attach this to the dress so i notched the center of my sleeve of the sleeve head actually i'm going to turn the sleeve right sides out that's very very important in sewing your sleeve to your dress so right after turning it right sides out we are going to be matching the notch on the sleeve head that's the notch at the middle of the sleeve head we will match it to the shoulder seam okay so and you need to make sure that you place your fabrics right sides touching so i'm just going to come right under here match my shoulder seam to the notch and then we're going to match the seam on the sleeve to the side seam of the dress and all we need to do is to go on to sew this round by a half an inch seam allowance then i'll repeat the same thing for the other side and right after attaching the sleeve to the dress all i need to do is to go on to use a bias tape to turn my neckline or basically use my bias tape to conceal the raw edge of my neckline and i'm going to show you guys what we're going to do next so after sewing on the sleeves and concealing the raw edge of my neckline with my bias tape the next thing that i'm going to do is to attach a zipper onto this dress so what i'm going to do right now is to place the right side of my zip or one side of the zip place it on the right side of the fabric okay so i'm going to place it like this so you need to do it in such a way that by the time you sew your um, zipper on is correctly placed so just to make it easy for me i want to turn my dress right side out so just like this and then i'll go on to place my zipper like this okay so this part is going to come right here like I said, right sides touching, right sides. I'm going to sew with my zipper allowance all the way, just almost towards the end of the zip, usually past my hip. Repeat the same thing for the other side as well. So after sewing on my zipper, we want to sew down the rest of the dress. So I just close the zipper up. I'm going to start stitching from where the stitch of my zipper ends okay that's where we are going to start from and i'm going to be sewing down following my zipper allowance line just not to the end because i want to have like a slit at the bottom of the dress so i'll probably leave around six um, to seven inches of space of course once i'm done with sewing that part i'm going to use a bias tape to conceal the raw edges instead of hemming because i don't want it i like the way it is long i don't want it shorter than it is now you can go on to add um, a sewing notion to your dress like buttons just to spruce it up a bit so i have these buttons that i'm going to go on to sew to the center front of the dress so you see it you know once i'm modeling the dress for you guys to know so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and i'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial bye